what's up guys, it's Foden here. This is a tutorial on how to do like first person animations. I had another similar tutorial which was like with hands, but this is gonna be like sort of um walking and stuff animations. So yeah, this is what I do. I tried record I I've already recorded this once but um I didn't have the microphone on and I got a phone call, so I'll be back in a bit. Sorry about this. Hey guys, sorry about that. I wasn't expecting that phone call, but you know, <clears throat> it's one of those ones you just have to take. So yeah, uh, if we start start off, um, what I do is I'm just gonna import an endorphin animation to make it a lot easier. You could make your own animation if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna add a walk in. So we got our walk. Okay. Um, so obviously the animation's walking. Uh, usually you'd probably rig that to somebody and then have that all like a person walking but for the sake of the tutorial save time I'm just going to use this as a just skeleton because uh, it's going to be first person and it's only going to be a walk you're not going to see much anyway so um, usually when you import a camera um, I always drag it in first and then position it but I'm just going to try it this way now another way which is to position it and then drag it in because I tried it when I um uh, was recording it like the first time this video the first time and it and it worked so okay so I've positioned it and we need to drag it into the neck a lower neck and then when you start oh my god I've actually done it as well usually it never actually works for me but in tutorials it does okay so that's obviously blatantly you know that's all good but what I usually do is um, I get the camera just so I know it's perfect um, and it's proper accurate as well. Um, you just want to drag it into the lower neck, check that out. Um, then you just want to click naught on all these rotation scales, and then obviously it's facing this way, so you want the camera to face that way. So we need it perfect 90 degrees. Um, and we need to now position that the literally at the skeleton's head. Uh, maybe move it down a bit, maybe back a bit, and then that's all good. That is perfect sort of eyesight because that's directly to where the skeleton is looking. Um, and then we'll just you know because that's linked, the camera will follow, and then you've got your walk animation. So if I just add a map which I done terminal on the last one so I'll just add that in oh wrong one god it's taking many ages oh god okay so we know just size this down I'm just sorting this out I actually selected it. I haven't really made much of a difference. Ah, there we go. Um, uh, we'll just move this down a bit more. It doesn't matter if the feet aren't on the floor. At the end of the day, we're still going to get... Why is it lagging now? It was nice and smooth. But yeah, he's walking through terminal turn around and that's how you can get nice 3D animations. You can do that with like parkour and stuff like that. But you just attach the head to the uh, camera to the head, sorry. Um and the camera will follow. But as long as you've got the eyesight perfect with the head, um then you should be fine. Obviously this looks a bit funny because his feet are actually not on the floor. That's a bit better I'd say. So yeah, if I just render that, there we go. Maybe add some shadows, some whatever, make it a lot better. But that concludes this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next videos that are yet to come out. Peace.